Micah Sandy, it's no secret gas prices are rising exponentially. What you might not know, though, is there are inspectors with the county going around checking to make sure you're getting what you're paying for at the pump, even if it is higher than normal. Emma Haynes says she fills up her tank every day with $20, hoping that the high prices eventually drop. She's in sales and drives all over L.A. Today, though, she's decided to shorten her route. Because of the gas prices, I'm actually not going to do my next two stops, and I'd rather do calls. The average price for a gallon of gas in L.A. County rose for the 22nd time in 24 days Thursday. Here's a look at some of the current averages in and around our area. If you compare these prices with the national average of $3.83, California is paving the way for some of the highest rates to date. Takla Mancarius is an inspector with the LA County Weights and Measures Bureau. Now I'm checking the accuracy of the diesel fuel. His department tests one to 2,000 of these fuel dispensers every month. This to make sure that drivers are getting the exact amount of fuel that's stated on the signage and aren't being shorted out of money, even if the existing prices remain high. We want to make sure that people are getting the exact volume for which they're paying. If you're paying for 10 gallons, you should be getting exactly 10 gallons. If a gas station is shortchanging a customer or if there is faulty equipment, the gas station will be cited. Although the good news is short volume violations occur in only a half of 1% of meter tests. And as Takla showed us during his inspection, these pumps pass the test and there is a small margin of error. Governor Gavin Newsom today directed the California Energy Commission to implement gas price gouging penalties and restrictions on refinery maintenance activities. What we're trying to understand is this delta between the national average and what you're paying at the pump here on average in the state. Long Beach resident Jeffrey Hardin says the fluctuation in gas prices is discouraging. I know that we pay more here in L.A. because you're forced to drive. And it's kind of unfair, but you really can't do anything about it. And you mentioned this just a few moments ago. Governor Newsom today announced that he's ordering a transition to the winter blend fuel effective immediately to try to curb some of these high prices. So some hope on the horizon for us. That's the very latest from Downey. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. All right.